continuing on here 20 20 question six more probability so a group carried out a study of the makes and fuel types of cars in a large car park it was found that 30 percent of cars ran on diesel and 70 percent of these cars were volkswagen but they weren't in our civic sir 60% of the cars ran on petrol and 25% of these were Volkswagen and 10% of the cars were hybrid and 9% of these so these that's a, a big thing there one car selected at random find the probability as a Volkswagen car again I like to thought of a wee uh, tree diagram so I can have a diesel car I can have a petrol just the fuel type or I can have a hybrid or electric so fill in your probability in the branches the probability of it being diesel 30% probability of being petrol 60% now you can write in 0. 0.6 or 6 tenths or 3 fifths a hybrid's 10% and you can see they add up to 100% or probability adds up to 1 now of these the probability of the diesel car being a Volkswagen, say Volkswagen, VW, non-VW, VW, non-VW, so you're either a Volkswagen or you're not a Volkswagen, doesn't matter what type. So again, fill in your probability along the branches of these diesel cars, 70% were Volkswagen. So if 70% are Volkswagen, 30% are non-Volkswagen. Petrol, 25% um, of these were Volkswagen, 75% weren't. And of your hybrid, 9% were Volkswagen, that must mean 91% is non Volkswagen. So in each of the divisions, add up to give you one. So now we just got to work out the chances of getting a Volkswagen. So we're going to have a diesel Volkswagen. So it can be diesel and Volkswagen, or it can be a petrol and Volkswagen or it could be a hybrid and Volkswagen and then well, all you've got to do is multiply these and add together your answer so a diesel Volkswagen so it's 30% multiply by 70% or it's plus plus your petrol Volkswagen so 60% your petrol and your Volkswagen multiply by 25% or equals add remember you can be a hybrid so it's a 10 percent and you're a volkswagen by nine percent so throw it in your calculator tally them up so 30 let's see is 369 over 1000 or 0.369 so answer smaller than one looks okay next one the road safety authority has data on driving test pass rates of all its test centers in a particular driving test center the probability of the person passing the test for the first time is a quarter so the probability pass first time a quarter therefore probability of not pass first time one out of four people pass the first time three out of four mustn't pass it the first time all the results are independent might need that in this center in a particular day Joe along with five others that means therefore the six people take the test all six there we go take the test for the first time and find the probability that Joe passes the test so Joe has to pass along with exactly two from the five now this is an example here of your binomial distribution I did one with a basketball uh, before so your binomial distribution any two from five so there'd be five choose two probability of passing it times that there says r so your two and then take them away so we'll do the five passing or the two passing from five
and how do we say and we multiply and big joe passes at the end so i choose two probability of passing first time is a quarter to the power of two therefore the probability of fail three quarters and five minus two is three times the probability of joe passing is a quarter so there's one in the basketball probability get maybe your third free throw in the tenth shot so you go like two and nine and then by your probability at the end so type it as you see it i choose two a quarter point two five to the power of two times 0.75 for your three quarters to the power of three one three five over five one two by a quarter one three five over two oh four five two oh four what is it two oh four eight sorry um, what does that work out? 0 0.0659. Write down both of the little task. And then the last one here, for three looking one. The overall pass rate for all dri drivers at another test center is a half. So the probability of passing is a half. So that must mean the probability of fail is a half also. Whether it's the first attempt or any other attempt. On a particular day, and people take the test, probability that two people are less than two people two people are less less than two people pass the test can be written in the form two people are less than two people so that means like two passes or less or one pass or no passes Doesn't it? two people are less two passes or one pass or no pass yeah from n people so we did it from five people over there so the same thing using your binomial distribution so work out each of these number or just means plus so say we worked out zero passes so it says from n people so it's n choose zero the probability of passing it's a new thing up here it's probability is a half to the power of zero um and probably fail times n minus zero which is n now if we tidy that up five choose zero or n choose zero work out with numbers so five choose zero gives you one if you had ten choose zero that gives you one if we had a one 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 choose zero gives you one so if we had n choose zero that also gives us one a half to the power of zero anything to the power of zero is one as well so all we're left with is a half n half to the power of n there one passes so n choose one half to the power of one and a half to the power of n minus one now if we tidy that up a wee bit n choose one so make it up with numbers so if we had five choose one we have five if we had ten choose one we had ten if we had twelve choose one we have twelve so if we have n choose one we have n <coughs> Half to the power of one. Now here we can see it's the same base, so we can add the powers. So one, like if I had down here, two squared by two cubed. Two squared is two by two. Two cubed, two by two by two. What have we got? Two to the power of five. How did we get that? Same basis. We can add the powers. Same basis. Add the powers. So one plus n minus one. You're just left with n. So that's left us with a half to the power of n. And then two passes. So all the time we're building up marks. I'm still not too sure where this is going to go. It's going to be for three anyway. And choose two. It's going to be a half to the power of two. And then your other half to the power of n minus two. Tidy that up and choose two. Now you mightn't work this out too clear in your calculator. 5 choose 2 is 10. Now how do they get that? It means the first two terms, 5 by 4, over the last two, 2 by 1. I think it's your 20 over 2, which is 10. So if I had 6 choose 2, I'm not press equals yet. That means the first two terms going back to 0, 
like using your factorial, 6 times 5 over the last 2, 2 times 1, 30 over 2, which is 15. That's what we get. So if we get n, choose 2. Since the first two terms, n is the first one, 1 smaller than it, n minus 1 over 2 times 1. Yeah, so that's all we're left with for n choose 2. n times n minus 1 over 2. Half squared. Oh, but we're not going to do the half squared because, again, basis with the powers. 2 minus 2 is 0, so it's a half to the power of n. And then what do we do with all these answers? We said there, it's 2 pass or, that word or, always adds up, or means add. So we add up these boys now. So a half to the power of n plus the big only pen is going to go now. Half to the power of n plus n times a half to the power of n plus, now I'll tidy this up a wee bit, n squared minus n over 2 times a half to the power of n. Now I can see they all have a half to the power of n. So it might be easy to take that out. Can't get rid of it, there's no equal sign. So you can't cancel it out, it's still there. Half to the power of n, open up your brackets. You've taken out the common factor, so you're left with 1 plus n plus n squared minus n over 2. Jeez, we're tight for space. Maybe tidy up what's inside the bracket, put it all over a fraction. So the common denominator is going to be 2. So a half to the power of n, and we're left with 2 plus 2n plus n squared minus n over 2. Tidy that up a wee bit. Half to the power of n. So we're left with n squared. 2n minus n is n plus 2 over 2. And what way do they want this in the form of? Over 2n plus 1, which we will get. We're lucky. Because a half to the power of n, so you put a power on each of them. You know, if I had uh, 2 thirds squared, it goes 2 squared over 3 squared, which gives you 4 over 9. Put that in your calculator and you'll see that. So if I had half to the power of n, put the power on each. So the numerator, 1 to the power of n over 2 to the power of n. 1 to the power of anything is 1 over 2n. So I've got 1 over 2n times n squared plus n plus 2 over 2. And all we're doing here is, you can multiply inside the bracket. 2 to the power of n times 2 to the power of 1 is, add up your powers once again. So 2 to the power of n plus 1. Hmm. So, left with n squared plus n plus 2 over 2 to the power of n plus 1. And then they said uh, up here. A is the number before n squared, which is just 1. B is the number in front of n, which is just 1. And C is the number left at the end, which in this case is 2.